everyone, welcome back to the bat prototype with the vanilla minecraft tutorials and today we are going to be covering modes of transportation of a sort. We will start off with something that I find very useful especially if you're mining is the ladder. As you can see um, as an example uh, that's what a ladder does. <laughs> you just right click and it's placed on blocks of stone, of wood of any sort, but like if you try to put on redstone it doesn't stick. So here's how you make it. Please ignore all that. Um, you just follow this um, recipe right here. It's just sticks. It's very very easy to make and I believe it it gives you like I think 16 or so um, ladder stacks. So it's very useful. Now, boat. Very easy to make. All you need is some wood planks. You use that recipe. And then all you have to do is place it in water. And you need at least two by two or two by three to be able to place it. Um, and then you right click and you can go into it. It is a little bit different to steer than it used to be in old Minecraft. And if you if you hit <laughs> hard enough, if you're if you're going hard enough, it will break. Um, and then you just push shift to get back out. And you can use any form of wood and it'll pop up in different colors according to that wood. Real quick, uh, a mobile <laughs> transport and this can actually be really useful because they can haul ass. Um, there's a horse or a donkey, pretty much anything you've been able to tame. Uh, it's just not particularly easy if you don't have a saddle. Uh, yep. <laughs> so I wouldn't use that as your main mode. And this one uh, is an end game thing is the uh, I never know how to pronounce it, but um, Elytra, I guess. Uh, this is only a found item. Uh, you place it in your chest piece and you use spacebar to uh, fly a bit, but it's it's not a never ending flight. It Unless you're like trying to get up on something, it's kind of it's not super useful, in my humble opinion, but it's a fun toy to play with. Now, a compass. Um, I don't know too many people who use this, but it is part of other recipes, as I'll show you, um, and can at least help you when you're underground a little bit uh, to know what direction you're facing, because you can get a little confused. So what you need are four iron ingots and one redstone. Uh, use this recipe and it pops out the compass. And I'll show you how it works. You can see it moving around as you move, but again, it's it's kind of more for aesthetics than anything else. Um, but one way to use it is a map. Uh, obviously I am showing you <laughs> a map here and uh, you can use an item uh, frame and then right click on that with the map you have and it'll place it and you can end up covering a huge amount of space uh, of a huge map. Um, it's it's actually kind of neat as a decorative thing but again um, as a useful piece it's kind of meh. Um, that is the full form map with actual information on it. Um, and that's an empty map. And here's the recipe. This is where the compass comes into play. <laughs> you put that right in the middle and surround it with paper. Uh, so this is not a beginning game item. This is at least moderately halfway through. So what you would do is you place it in your hand and make sure it's chosen like it you're not here but <laughs> like on it and you walk around and it'll gather information Oop. 
you right click and it fills it up. Up here, and then you can right click and that's what you get. All right, and though you see much more here, I'm only gonna end with this one, is the rail and the mine cart. So railings, you can either find in a mine shaft or you can build it yourself and you can get quite a bit. Um, so here's the recipe. You need six ingots and one stick. You can start making that fairly early and that's kind of what it looks like just by itself and depending on what direction you place the um, railing will depend on what it direction it faces and with mine carts any of them you absolutely pretty much need to have uh, a railing down for it to sit and with a mine cart it's kind of like making a boat but with iron ingots and you get that and all you have to do is right click and <laughs> and do that but if as you see if there's not a railing there you can't move it's pretty easy to scoot around and get back onto a railing as shown but I will show you more what you can do with a minecart other than just sit and ride in it which if you like building like roller coasters or you like to get to point A to point B really fast if you know how to set up railings this is really useful especially underground so I will see you guys in the next video see ya